Okay, so this is what your emergency radio looks like on day one of a zombie outbreak. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on day 100 of a zombie <laughs> outbreak. Yep, it's, uh, it's got chemical burns on it. The plastic is cracked and it's faded. And knobs are missing, buttons are missing. And strangely enough, the handle is gone and it's switched to analog. Because that's what happens during a zombie ap like, ap apocalypse. <laughs> it's serious. It's serious business. Technology regresses. So, yeah, I have these two weather radios here. Well, I call them weather radios. They're, I guess they're actually emergency radios. But they have a normal weather radio band. Yes, they do, yeah. And, um... Yeah, this one, there's about probably, there's about 10 years of difference between these two in terms of when they were produced. And acknowledge, acknowledging that they are two different brands, one is Eton and the other one is Midland. Yeah. And so it, it is kind of hard to compare the two. It would almost be like comparing a Yellow Book phone book to a Dex phone book, you know. <laughs> but uh, But no, they are, I mean, they are somewhat comparable. Um, the big difference, I think, is that one is analog and one is digital. And it's really nice to have the digital tuner. Like, when I, when I buy a radio, that's like one of the first things I look for. Because yeah. it's nice to be able to get the exact right tuning of a station. Yeah. Like, if you need, like, 99.4, you can go right to 99.4. And you know you're getting the, the best signal you can possibly get. But... Uh, yeah, they're both red, or like this one used to be red. And they're both like this one is was approved by the American Red Cross. And then the second one it uh it came with this I don't know if it I think it was more like FEMA than the Red Cross. Yeah, it's like a checklist for Yeah. Because it, because it came with this checklist, and after this, we're going to shoot another video, uh, actually going through the checklist of the the uh, recommended emergency checklist, and I'm going to actually score myself on how I'm doing right now in terms of that checklist. But not much more to say here. Just kind of showing uh, this old one uh, doesn't really work anymore. Uh, the radio doesn't work. Um, the uh, yeah, no, no, none of the none of the radio bands work. Um, it also doesn't have, let's see, or, or does it, if I can even peel this thing off, I think it's melted, but this one has like a micro USB and a, and a full size USB so that you can charge things and then the radio itself can be charged and that's good. Um, but one thing that does still work on this one is the flashlight, but it only works with the crank huh. and this is fun. I take this with me. See? Oh, it's an LED light, too. Yeah. And it stays... See, it fades pretty quickly, so you have to keep cranking. And it's kind of cool, because, like, you can be outside and you can be, like, pretending to be, like, a 1920s film director, you know, or a, or a cameraman. Like, all right, action, you know. <laughs> but, so I really like this thing. I mean, this thing still has, you know, some use to it, because it's a it's a flashlight that will never... That, where, that'll never... Um, the batteries will never die. So it's kind of a handy thing to have. The flashlight of perpetual motion. Yeah. But anyway, like, we've lost the focus here, and for, there we go. Focus is back. But not much more to say about it. Um, let me see here if there's anything. Let's see. Yeah, you have the, in the headphones, I think we've covered everything. Solar panel, which they both have solar panels. This one has a slightly bigger one. Where did you get your own one at? I bought it. I, I can't remember where, though. Turn this on. It, it also, see, there's the, the brighter setting. And then strobe. Uh-oh. I didn't, I didn't do the epilepsy warning. Uh. I hope everyone's okay. But um, I suppose I'll turn on the radio for you, too. Message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety It lights up, which is Project nice. Yellow light like the... the do you know where you're at? Should I get it? Yeah, the tuner Wait, lights it up. Safe? It's okay to have questions. Now, the facts. Keep the GetVaccineAnswers.org so that you can make it a oh. Let's 
to give the public radio. Yep, yeah, and then there's the weather radio. And you set the clock. It has a clock that you set. It's not an atomic clock, which I was kind of hoping it would be, but it's not. You have to set it manually. And then there's a big lithium battery here I can show you. That is a big, like, not a standard, like, not a double A, not a triple A. That's like just a, that's like a proprietary uh, lithium ion battery. It's like a tank for a battery. Yeah. And um, when it's charging, like when it's in the sun or something and the solar panel is charging, there's a little indicator here, the little red light that shows that it's charging, which is nice. And um, one thing that's, that was a little irritating was that when you get it, the battery isn't hooked up. You have to hook up the battery yourself. And that can, like, if you haven't read the directions, that can be a little frustrating because, like, you're trying to charge it and stuff and it's not charging. Yeah. And that's because the battery, they probably do that to save the battery while it's in storage. Yeah. That's what I would guess, but... Anyway, this was just a video to kind of show you the, the, how the technology has kind of progressed in emergency weather radios. And, you so know, the, I, oh, go ahead. The first thing on your prepare to get ready checklist is make sure the battery is connected. Yeah. The second thing is make sure the battery is charged. And then we'll go through all the rest of the stuff on the list. But... I really think this is cool, and I, I really appreciate that they have a dedicated band just for weather. So then you don't hear all the ads and all the BS that's on so much of the other radio. You know, you can get your weather update. I like the visual of the TV better for weather, but if your internet connection kind of sucks and you don't really feel like watching even an antenna or broadcast television or the timing's not right, you can at least get pretty accurate, pretty quick weather updates, I'd say within a minute or two broadcast you know yeah as long as the derecho doesn't come in and wipe out the whole system <laughs> uh, it worked it worked even without with the derecho I, it's, it's broadcast over and over you know the air i i couldn't get a signal after the derecho really no i couldn't yeah i believe it because it was so screwed up then i got one station out of manchester that i listened to for the weather I didn't really try the weather radar radio much, I guess. Did. I suppose maybe if I had switched brand, uh, switched bands, I could have uh, picked up one like from farther away or something. Yeah, I got the Manchester one. And that's where I hear the news and the weather and the, all that stuff. Because that, that was all I could get. We couldn't get TV. There's no electricity. And none of the other stations local had broadcast capabilities. Yeah. It's the dark zone. Well, wow, the battery on this one was a lot smaller. You can see the compartment here is like really small. Is that one rechargeable or is that the... Yeah, this this one was rechargeable while it still worked. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can see it actually... Those actually are chemical burns. Like, the, it was on my dashboard for like years. And um, not only did that fade and crack the plastic, but there was also like some spilled cologne on the dash that I was using as air freshener. I was using this bottle as air freshener and it spilled onto the dash and it spilled onto the weather radio and it, it like, it eroded the plastic. Cool. So, yeah, but it, it really does give it that classic zombie outbreak look to it, you know? Yeah. So, I guess that it's that got that going for it. And it's still, you know, it's still great for like, like, all right, action. Don't forget your lines. Good for that, but uh, so cool. I think that I think that covers everything, and uh, I do like that. I do appreciate that this one has a handle. I think that that's a good development, yeah. so that you can carry it um, more conveniently. But all right, next video we're going to shoot is the checklist, and we'll see how we do on that.